Greetings from Eastern Europe, my name is ColdBearHD and today I made you a list of a games like Skyrim Top 15 this time. Also this video has subtitles so you can turn them on if you want. Kingdom Come Deliverance this is basically a Skyrim just without any fantasy stuff. No dragons, no elves and no giants here for you. Kingdom Come Deliverance features a very realistic combat system that requires patience and carefully calculated attacks, instead of flailing around like Elder Scrolls veterans are used to. Game is based in real life events, taking place in Bohemia in 1403 and its main and side quests are centered around events during that time period. If you are wondering what that mysterious Bohemia is, it's a part of nowadays is Czechia, their free geography lesson. It's a wonderful game, though it still has a lot of bugs and glitches, and sometimes bad optimization takes place and your frame rate in certain places drops drastically. So as for now, buy this game when it's on a sale. Middle Earth Shadow of War here you are not some puny hobbit, but ultimate war machine, like Steven Seagal when he was young. When he was young, I said. You can use direct melee combat, ranged attacks, stealth based moves and even turn enemies against each other. And you can collect orcs and send them to battles, yes. Just don't get too attached to any of them. They tend to die a lot, even if their opponents are weaker. Gothic 3 an amazing game with poor graphics, because it's old, though you can install a bunch of mods and it will shine again. It's like when you're getting old and wrinkles start to appear around your eyes, then you go to a plastic surgeon and he just replaces your face with another face. You look at the mirror and you can barely recognize yourself, but you look beautiful, so you never ask a surgeon where he got this beautiful new face of yours. The same is with Gothic 3, you just install mods, change the graphics completely and play it without any regret. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning Game has a bit cartoonish graphics and that probably was the biggest mistake made by the creators who went bankrupt after this game was released, because gamers at least at that time wanted realism like we have in Skyrim or Witcher. So game wasn't a success, but it is no doubt one of the best RPG games ever made. All decisions you make here matters and will have consequences later. Game has really interesting story, great dialogues and voice acting is also really good. Grab it when you can and you will enjoy 80 hours of gameplay, possibly even more. Red Dead Redemption There is a saying, better dead than red, so it may sound that this game is about dead communists, but it's obviously not. Red Dead Redemption is a western themed action adventure game played from third person perspective. The player controls John Marston and completes missions to progress through the story. Outside of missions players may freely roam the open world, well, as long as they don't try to swim. Sadly, you can't play it on PC, this game is consoles only experience. Also keep an eye on Red Dead Redemption 2, which will be released this year on October 26. Game also will be destined only for consoles, and some online game content will be PlayStation 4 exclusive for a limited time, but it will definitely be a great game. Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt Game is based on amazing novels written by Polish writer Andrzej Sapkowski. I was a huge fan of him way before Witcher games were created, so when Mr. Sapkowski came to visit Lithuania in the year 2005, I went to a book fair with hopes of gaining his autograph on my books. I even have a photo with him there. This is Sapkowski holding my book of Witcher and this orange blob is me. My wife wasn't the best photographer as you can see, glad I divorced her. Comrade, did you divorce her because of Plumber Roman? Did he leak his pipes into your wife? Oh shut up! So here you will play as a contract monster killer and of course kill a lot of monsters. I have to mention that game is for adults, there is a lot of gore, nudity and some stories are really disturbing, though everything is diluted with wonderful humor. Even if it doesn't have a first person view and you can't create character you want, like you did in Skyrim, this game is possibly the best choice for you anyway. Or maybe it's just my fanboyism talking, I don't know. Dragon Age Inquisition This game is basically fantasy Mass Effect, it's created by the same studio and uses a lot of its mechanics, here you have a team of heroes and you can control all of them. Game is plot driven, has deep and interesting story, great characters and it will provide many hours of fun. If you're a fan of Mass Effect and Skyrim, this game is definitely for you, if not, 
maybe, I don't know. But I played it and I had a lot of fun. It's not a first game in the series, like Skyrim is not the first game of the Elder Scrolls. But like a Skyrim, here you can play without worrying about parts of the past. Plot is self-explanatory, everything is fine in that field. Also, I just have to mention another, a bit older game, Dragon Age Origins. For some players, that game was way better than Inquisition, and they were truly disappointed with new release. In example, they say that Inquisition is more action and less RPG game, so it's automatically worse. I don't know about that, I think we all have different tastes, and that's okay. Risen 3, Titan Lords, Goblins and Gnomes are fighting for supremacy on the Isle of Thieves and you have to rise against the Titans and regain your soul. I don't know why do you even need a soul, probably for making money, by selling it to the devil of course. So because you are so poor and your soul is also stolen, you can't buy beer or make potato salad, so you become angry and start kill everyone who stands in your way. Anyway, Risen 3 is a great game and you can grab newest edition of it, which is enhanced edition, and enjoy beautiful graphics, kill weird monsters and collect amazing loot. Fable Anniversary in other words, it's Fable Remastered. It's a bit outdated, because even after a remaster it has some cringy stuff left. Here you will evolve a hero or villain through the actions you choose and the path you follow. Through deeds and actions you will build a name for yourself across the land, recruit allies and followers and gain glory or notoriety. One thing I couldn't realize is if this game is suitable for a simple man who never played Fable or even never heard of it, because almost all comments on Steam and in other places are left by fans who either liked remastered version or didn't based by the experiences they had playing other Fable games. And other comments are about crashes and bugs, so try it on your own risk. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild it has massive, memorable open world, and when it's first showed up, many were thinking about Skyrim, just in Zelda universe. You can go anywhere your eyes can see, fight tons of monsters, evil spirits and even few dragons. However, game is oriented to younger players, but it is fun to play no matter the age, especially if you do it on Nintendo Switch. It feels better this way. Might and Magic series. Okay, do not judge. It may seem crazy for me to recommend such an old games and say that they are like Skyrim, but it's not. Let me elaborate. One of the best features in Skyrim is treasure hunting. When you go to some badass dungeon with no knowledge about its innards and then encounter some crazy boss, kill him and loot the shit out of his cold dead body. That's the thing. In Might and Magic you have the same feeling. Which part to play? I don't know, they are all like vodka. There are a lot of different vodkas in the world, so you have to try them all if you want to pick your best vodka. You can't just trust your neighbor Dragomir from Serbia, who says that Croatian vodka tastes like peace and the best vodkas are made in Serbia, because your other neighbor Nikola from Croatia says that Croatian vodka is best vodka and Serbian vodka is made for little girls. Also you can't trust your other neighbor from Obo, Zinters, who says that best vodka is made in Latvia because Zinters also says that Latvia is best country in the world. And for me, Lithuanian, that is very questionable statement. So you have to drink all that vodka by yourself and only then make a decision. It's the same with Might and Magic. Try 6th, 7th and 8th part if you would like to feel open world of real old school power or play Might and Magic 10 if you like shiny graphics but only semi open world and old school feeling. It's up to you. And one more thing, keep away from Might and Magic 9. Dragon's Dogma Dragon's Dogma is a massive, challenging action RPG that drops players into a vast open world full of different monsters and demons. You play as a hero who has their heart stolen by a dragon and you spend your time by trying to take it back. Yeah, it sounds so random. When I'll make my own game, I will use the same technique. It's basically like this. Goblins? Steel? Vodka! Perfect scenario! Dragon's Dogma shares its open nature with Skyrim, but it has more strategy and more dynamic fights. It's a tougher game in general, but if you like to explore open world and love fantasy games, it may be a game for you. 
Fallout New Vegas. This time it's not a fantasy title, but I couldn't just leave it aside. Fallout New Vegas, sandwiched in between Fallout 3 and 4, kind of gets overshadowed a bit by its younger and older brother. It is just as much the open world RPG as those two games are, and Skyrim as well. Many people think that New Vegas is a simple DLC of Fallout 3, but it's a completely different and standalone game, with, I dare to say, better story than Fallout 3 and 4. If you never tried this one, you have yourself a three. Divinity 2. Game is a bit different from Bethesda's RPG, but that doesn't mean it has nothing to offer to fans of the Dragonborn. All of the standout elements of Skyrim are present and accounted for. Exploration, discovery, engaging combat, progression choices, and yes, dragons. Best thing here is that you can turn into one and fly. Divinity 2 also has a bit different loot system, somewhere similar to World of Warcraft or Diablo 3. It's a great game if you're looking for something similar to Skyrim, but not exactly the same. That's it, thank you for watching, please consider subscribing for more epic and funny lists, or you might even become my patron on Patreon, so I could buy myself more vodka and more potato salad. You will find the link below. This was Coldplayer HD, have a nice day, bye.